Hello, everyone. This is uh, Samad here from Vbind Education Technologies. And uh, Vbind brings industry experts live into your classrooms. And to help you understand better what exactly we do, I'm going to play a very short video. Rohan and Rita are engineering students. They are studious and smart. They work hard and get good grades. It's a happy story. But here comes the villain. They are confused about their future. They find no connect with the subjects they study and what career they want to pursue. Professor Nandlal is a very senior lecturer. He has sensed this issue with many other students like Rohan and Rita. He is worried too. He sets out on a mission to find a solution. He does some research, tries to find out who can help him bring the real corporate world into the classroom. He wants someone to help students gain knowledge and experience of the practical world. And voila, what does he find? Vbind, bringing industry to classroom. Vbind has a list of industry experts as masters on their platform. By means of Vbinders, these masters interact with students like you. These Vbinders are called masterclass. What do we expect from a masterclass? Stories of inspiration and experience, tons of information on new products and the ideas behind it, useful insights on how to step into the industry, chance to interact and pitch ideas to the movers and shakers of the industry. One such masterclass is waiting for you. Come, let's hear the master. And yes, don't forget to like us on Facebook or tweet to us at WeBind. We appreciate your feedback by just a WhatsApp on 0887916325288. We promise to bring the Tatas and Bansals and the Murtis to you soon. Help us get them live on your screens. Okay, so uh, the topic for today is uh, artificial intelligence and uh, uh, the master for this topic is uh, Mr. Ankit. Ankit is the researcher at uh, IIT Bombay and he's the co-founder of Mapical, a company into artificial intelligence. Earlier he was working with a company called Broadcom and Defy Gravity. So without any further delay, I invite Mr. Ankit to take over. Mr. Ankit, there are three colleges joining in. Kalsekar College from Mumbai, MIT from Pune, and New Model College from Hingoli, Maharashtra. Over to you, sir. Hi, everyone. Good morning. As Abdul introduced me, uh, I'm currently pursuing my master's at the IIT Bombay in the field of artificial intelligence. And mostly, the artificial intelligence is a very broad category. So I mostly pursue in the field of natural language processing and the machine learning. So to give you a brief insight, what is artificial intelligence? Uh, so what do you mean by artificial intelligence? Majority of the people thinks that it's like a imitating the human brain and bringing the capability of the intelligent systems or intelligent behavior in the system. But what's the ultimate goal over here? Are we trying to imitate the human brain? So is it the only goal of the artificial intelligence? What's the problem with this? So if we try to imitate only the human brain, we are restricting ourselves for the intelligence. There may be a system or there may be a species in this universe which is more intelligent than us. 
that is what the artificial intelligence is trying to achieve over here so one of the definition from the wikipedia is saying that artificial intelligence is the intelligence exhibited by the machines or the software and it is also a field of study where the computer behaves in a intelligent manner without any human intervention this is what the artificial intelligence is so basically where all this artificial intelligence can be used it ranges from simple task from assisting doctors in uh, in diagnosing the patients to surgery these are all currently being implemented and uh, yeah majority of them are used the cotton or siri and all so even over there the ai has been used currently the apple microsoft uh, sorry apple uh, and google they are all coming up with a self driving car but self driving car compared to the mars mission what it's very limited so we are the speed the we are reaching at the artificial intelligence the same research is beyond what we are thinking it's growing exponentially and uh, why do we need one of the best application is we humans i always try to find the shortcut or else we always try to minimize the cost and always we try to minimize the risk in all this field the ai can be used from this washer uh, we may not be interested in washing the dishes so we may have the robots for that and from the warm diffuser robot these are all the current trend trend in the artificial intelligence and every day wherever if you are using internet definitely you are part of this some part of the artificial intelligence it may be using the gps machine translation and summarization summarization is one of the particular topic which i am interested in we at mapical are trying to solve this part so if you have follow uh, follow the internet uh, there is a recent breakthrough in the ai um before i uh, explain this i want to share one video with you things are kind of microcosm of the outside world that's why games were invented that's why humans find it fun to play there's a rich history of um computer tackling board games it started with games like backgammon drafts and then finally there was deep blue in 97 that beat kasparov at chess which was obviously a huge watershed moment for game ai since then the really big uh, remaining sort of holy grail if you like has been go in chess the number of possible moves is about 20 for the average position in go it's about 200 another way of viewing the complexity of go is that the number of possible configurations of the board is more than the number of atoms in the universe if you ask a great go player why they played a particular move sometimes they'll just tell you it felt right so you can the one way you can think of it is that go is a much more intuitive game uh, whereas chess is a much more logic based game The AlphaGo is our program to actually try and crack Go. We played the European champion Fang Wei in a five-game match. We have an estimate of how strong a program is, but of course you never know when you play um, a human player. Um, they do all sorts of very interesting, creative things that um, your programs don't necessarily do. So there's always an unknown. When we play the first game, I lose. <laughs> I think he was a bit stunned after the first game and I think he was unsure as to whether he hadn't prepared enough or whether the program was really strong. Well, I think after first game maybe he don't like fight. He like play slowly. So it's why be, uh, begin the second game I fight. Do mistake sometimes. Skip the coffee. I see ah oh, maybe I'm right. It's why for another game I fight all the time. This No, it's a complete. No, it's a complete. But I lose all my game. AlphaGo won five nil, which is the first time ever um, a program has beaten a professional player. <laughs>
The way I see where we are now is that we've beaten the European champion now and uh, the next step for us is to try and challenge the legendary player Lisa Doll, who you can think of as the Roger Federer of Go. We always used to talk about, well, if we could eventually crack Go and have a programme that could beat the world champion, then we must have invented some generic general purpose algorithm. So maybe we're on the cusp of all of that and we're very excited about it, but it is just one a run on the ladder uh, towards uh, solving artificial intelligence. So, just now you went through the video of the AlphaGo, which is developed by the Google DeepMind Technologies. According to the AI researcher people, this problem would have been solved in the next decade, somewhere in the 2025 or 2030. But the Google, they came up with a very smart algorithm. They they able to defeat the European champion in the Go game. If you think chess, uh, chess itself is a complicated game, then Go is almost 200 times more complicated than the chess game. So this is the current scenario in the artificial intelligence. We are able to crack such problem also. So how can we solve this kind of problems? All together, we can solve as a one. So whenever we try to encounter some difficult problem, what we do? There is a something, if you are like, either a second year of your engineering, you understand. If you are come up, if there is a very difficult problem or the different, for the, there are many types of solutions we can come up with of problems. Brute force, divide and conquer. So when there is a very complicated problem, what we do? we divide into sub-modular tasks and try to conquer it. That is what they're trying to do in the AI also. So what exactly we want to do is we divide the AI into different aspects. AI itself is very broad category. So they divided the AI into these many aspects like reasoning, knowledge representation, automated planning and scheduling, machine learning, natural language processing, computer vision, robotics. So they divide into these kind of segments and try to achieve the best in all these segments and they are trying to integrate all these models into one to come up with the best AI. So basically current, uh, current trend is more on the machine learning and the natural language processing. Even the compu uh, computer vision and robotics uh, uh, the research in this work are going exponentially fast. So, for this kind of, uh, for all this task, do we need to stick on to one kind of programming language? Being a computer science grad, we, if you are aware of one language, one object oriented and one non object oriented language, then that is more than sufficient. For this about kind of task, this can be performed any programming language. For currently, for all the standard programming language, we have a standard libraries. So we can use this library and implement the stuff. So what are the real-time applications? So some of the applications is like multi-arm bandit problem. What do you mean by multi-arm bandit? If you have been to, like uh, you should have seen in the movie, like uh, if you have, uh, anyone have been to the casinos and all. So there will be a bandit problem. What exactly the bandit does is, if you put a one ruby coin, and if you pull the bandit, it will give you, if your luck is good, it will give you some return profit or return amount. So maybe for one ruby, you may get the five rupees sometimes, or you may lose the one ruby as well. So if you are given a hundred rupees, and if there are 10 such bandits in a casino, you need to find the, make sure that at the end of the, at the end of your 100 rupee, you maximize your profit. How do you do this? This can be solved using the machine learning. Uh, in the artificial intelligence, there is a specific 
field called the reinforcement learning. So this reinforcement learning will behave like our human brain. Even without giving any input to that, it will automatically learn what to do and it will uh, achieve that task. Like in uh, example, if you are given a robot and you want to simulate it to walk, how do you do that? That's uh, how, how does the human we the baby uh, learns to walk? That's how it is imitated in this uh, reinforcement learning framework. So another example of the AI is in the summarization domain. Currently, we are bombarded with more and more uh, information in the internet. Take the example of the uh, news domain itself. If you consider any particular topic, there will be almost hundreds of sources which gives us similar information. So you have been overloaded with this information. So there is a need for the summarization way we uh, way you go through each website and collect those information and give the summary for the user. This is where one of the AI applications comes up uh, comes into the picture, and we Mapical are trying to solve this problem. So basically, these are all the theory theoretical aspects. So in order to achieve this, what are the things you should be aware, or what are the subjects that helps you a lot? If you have taken the game theory, this may help you. The probabilistic model is one of the mandatory. Natural language processing will uh, help you for some tasks like summarization domain and all, but it won't help for the simulation of the robots. Machine learning is a generic. It should be, uh, every AI expert should be aware of the machine learning, probabilistic models and pattern recognition. These three are the things which you require at any cost. What are the challenges? Currently, these are all the challenges which I'm facing right today. So when I said about the summarization domain, so it's a, you won't find the direct implementation. There is no one research paper which gives you a direct application. So you need to do your own research and you need to come up with your own model. Sometimes, even after one month of work, Whatever the work you have done, it won't achieve the result. So you should be ready for your frustration. Whatever the work, one week of or one month of work you have done is completely waste. So these are all the current challenges you'll be facing in the AI. Coming to the job opportunities, there is a huge, huge, huge gap between. Currently, there are very less number of people who are experienced in all in the AI domain. AI it's again as watched. So we can say there are very less number of people who are uh, expertise in NLP or machine learning and all. If you are interested in one of the who want to become the data scientist or the machine learning consultant, machine learning is nothing but a domain. With, uh, okay, take the example of the stock prediction itself. So based on your previous data, you need to predict the stock. What's the current what's the current and future value of the stock will be? So how can you achieve this? These are all done by the machine learning and the data scientist. So if you are interested in this domain, this is a must actually. And if you are interested in the language domain, then NLP. And majority of you have used the e-commerce websites, Flipkart, uh, Mintra and all. Over there, whenever you purchase something, the Flipkart and all will recommend you some stuff. If you are buying a pant, it may recommend to you the shoe or a shirt. So how this is done? It, it is automatically learned using the system data. This is through the recommendation domain. So if you are interested in soft, all such stuff, you can become the recommendation domain expert. And there are many such domains you can explore. And these are the few top domains which I came up with. Skills. What are the skills you require in order to become the above? One, if you are not aware of anything also, it's fine. But one, you should be very good in the problem solving. And the mathematical foundation, it's better to have a strong method.
sense, the race may be the word group, but in the people continue to inquire the reason for the race. But outer space here, the race belongs to the known. So you need to, uh, based on the context, you need to give the proper part of speech tagging. So all this can be done. This is uh, you may be wondering, oh, okay, how this is possible and all, but this is a very simple algorithm. So what we do is for each word we have some brown corpus which gives you the sentences for each sentence we will be having the tag in the particular format. So using this brown corpus we come up with a probabilistic model where for each word take the example for the previous sentence itself secretariat is expected to raise tomorrow here. For each word, we try to bring up what is the probability for the word given the tag. Take the example, what is the probability of a race given the noun noun. So this is all can be found using the brown corpus and from the brown corpus you can come up with this algorithm, uh, with this table like probable, uh, what is the transition probability from noun to 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 or else from what is the probability of uh, transition from uh, Noun group to verb group. So these are all pro problematically you can come up with this model. Using this model, <coughs> you can uh, find the art max. What is the when I say art max? You try to for each word for each transition probability you calculate the uh, joint probability distribution. Like what is the probability of a noun? What is the transition probability of a noun from to into what is the probability of a race given noun? At the below, you can see that this probability will be very less when compared to what's the prob uh, probability of transition probability from work through from to into probability of the race into work through. So, when what is uh, between these two, the probability of the second one is i. So, for the first sentence, we give it as a noun through. A work group, sorry. So this is one of the applications in the machine learning. Uh, thank you. If you have any questions, happy to answer. Uh, thank, thank you, sir. We are uh, all the colleges. We are open to questions. So if there is a question from any side, please uh, raise your hand. Okay, there is a question from uh, Pune. Okay. Uh, my name is uh, Professor Ravi, and uh, the question uh, that we have here is uh, the advertisement that we see on the e-commerce website. Uh, um, so, for example, when we go on Amazon and yeah. try to buy a particular product, but we end up buying uh, nothing. And yes. uh, so if uh, you go on to any other website where the Amazon is uh, advertising, uh, you tend to see the same product. So uh, is, it, is it because of the AI or machine learning? See, uh, it's a, uh, machine learning is a subtopic of the AI. It's, in, over there, they not only use the machine learning, there is a something called reinforcement learning also. So they combine this machine learning and reinforcement learning and try to come up with the best recommendation. So uh, in order to just give you the overflow, like overview how this recommendation engine works, if there are a thousand users, so what they try to do is using this thousand users, they try to cluster the users into some groups, like uh, maybe 10 to 15 groups. So for each subgroups, they understand the behavior of these clusters in a, as a users. So based on this behavior as a consolidated user clusters, so they recommend the system. Uh, take the example, if one cluster may be those interested in only the fashion thing, they always try to buy the accessories like pants, shirts, shoe, uh, boots and all. So they understand the pattern. So when they buy the shoes, What's the next thing they will buy? 
it's not individually they won't recommend they recommend based on the clusters of the users this is how the recommendation works did i answer your question uh, i hope uh, mr ankit as uh, answered the question so is there any question from kalsekar college I think MIT Pune has a question. They sent a chat saying that. I think the students as of now do not have any question uh, so okay. thank you very much for joining in and uh, enlightening the students about how do ai work and if the students have any questions they may reach out to mr ankit on the given uh, email id is that okay sir yes sir yes, yes. and one more thing what i want to say is if anyone interested in the nlp domain and want to be part of a mapical team they can send us the application as well we are looking for the internship as well okay so the students we have also got internship with mr ankit at mapical which is at iit bombay so the experience working with the iit research guys will be a tremendous experience so any of you who wants to connect with mr ankit can note down the email id uh, mr ankit thank you very much for joining in we appreciate your time thank you thank you all the colleges thank you very much for joining in thank you for your cooperation